Hey, what's going on? Thank you for tuning into the Coach's Couch. I'm your host, Coach Seas, here to bring some sports information fresh off the couch. Stay tuned. All right, episode two, we are live. It's Coach Seas with Coach Smitty. We're going to be talking about a new topic. All right, so on my Twitter today, um, my cousin hit me up, and well, he he just posted it, and uh, he, he in his post he said, uh, he goes, where, where where are the best athletes from in the Bay Area? Where do, where do you find them? And uh, his response was, Lopitas and East Palo Alto. <laughs> What's your take? Obviously, I said East Palo Alto for sure, just because it has probably one of the, I mean. One of the greatest receivers right that we're watching today in Devonte Adams, yeah, and then you know as coaches in the in the Bay Area, we've definitely seen Milpitas um, over the years with Vita Vea and and all these other players. I mean, even players that we played against like Brandon Carswell. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of players that come out through there, right? Um, I think I think that Henry kid was played play for them or something. There's that running back that came out over there too. Uh, oh yeah. I mean, I, I mean, between EPA and Lopitas, I would say EPA, just because like there's been, there's, was it, they got that kid at Stanford right now, or he, I don't know if he's there now, but he was there that quarterback with Devontae's quarterback. Oh, I believe. They, they, I think they have, they've had, they've had a couple kids go to Paul, uh, Stanford. So that's the only thing. Um, Lopitas, I don't know. To me, it's just as a, as a team wise, as, as a big old group, like. They're a good team, like athlete wise. Like I don't, I, there's some incredible players that came out of EP, uh, out of Palo Alto. So I mean, I guess you could say Palo Alto EPA, the Palo Alto as a whole, probably. But it's like, do you put like Las Gatos in that category because they've had some pretty good athletes in their own right? Yeah, I mean, I, I think I would put Las Gatos up there too. Because uh, a small town, right? That small town. I mean, yeah, you're talking, uh, as a town wise, like Las Gatos got some big Hi, old. I'm Ashley from First Blair. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Um, is that you or mine? Yeah, it was mine. I'm gonna make it that shit out. Yeah, but yeah, no, was it uh? I don't, I don't, I don't know, cause like, that's I, I mean, that's a fairly good question. Was was it towards like directed towards the Bay Area or was it like as like? No, it. Like, yeah. It was directed towards the the Bay Area. Um, okay. Let me see. Um, let me see the original post. Let's, see, let's go to. This is my cousin Kenny. So oh, it, yeah. it said, um, "What city in the Bay got the best football?" I mean, I mean, you also talk about Oakland too. Oh yeah, I mean they got Oakland. Ball. Yeah. I mean, uh, if you want to talk about the last best football in the last like. Four or five years, half of them bay. <laughs> oh yeah, this, well they're the small school bracket anyway, so they have a bunch. Yeah, of, I mean, I mean, I guess there's like a lot of like categories you could weigh off of that, but uh, was it? Cause is it De La Salle and East Bay? Yeah, they're Antioch, right? Yeah. Um, so yo, know, I think they're the best. Hands down, they're, they're the best team. Um, yeah, I think uh, overall, I would say. Um, I don't know, man. I mean, w- 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 how far you want to talk about? Because I mean, the like, let's think about the most recent uh, Hall of Famer that's coming, it, it, and it's it's probably Marshawn Lynch. Probably, right? yeah. I mean, Mar- Mar- he's definitely a Hall of Famer, right? So, yeah. Um, he put. I, he he might not be first ballot, but he'll he'll be in there one day. So it's and you're talking about he's from Oakland, so. And that's I mean that's some I mean who did, didn't his cousin uh. Isn't he from Oakland too? Uh, cornerback Peters. Yeah, Peter. Yeah, Peters is from Oakland too. Yeah. So I mean, so you're talking, it's, you know, two. I would say they're. Uh, there's there's another one that came out of Oakland, but he he got hurt. Like he didn't do well, but he made it into the league. He there was that kid that Eagles drafted. He tore his like ACL in uh in in, in on his pro day. I don't think. He, he came out of Washington. He was like, there was like two or three corners that came from Oakland. It was Peters one year, and then like two years after that, it was somebody else. And he came out of Oakland. Let's and see. yeah, he, I do. I said he was he was supposed to be like a top ten corner. Also, he towards him, he dropped to the third round. Or towards him, or his Achilles. 
he got drafted by the Eagles and like he kept getting hurt. But yeah, he like he would have, you know, he would have made the league. It sucks. I mean, and you gotta also think though. Um, I mean, I don't know why I didn't even think about this, but you gotta think, like arguably the greatest uh, quarterback of all time, Tom Brady, is from San Mateo. Oh, I mean, I don't know. That's like probably the one. I mean, I again, the question was athletes. I don't know if you're gonna sit there and. I mean, it's for real pretty, that. <laughs> I mean, if we're talking about straight up athletes, then you got to think. I mean, that's Sarah football or Sarah Sarah in general, right? They had Barry Bonds, and they got uh, uh, Brady. So, I mean, yeah, it's also very true. That's, um, that's that's top. That's top notch. Where's uh, I mean, not California. We're talking about. I think okay, so it says best players born in California, um, but the Bay Area no, t- number one is Tom Brady. Obviously, they said number six is uh, Marshawn Lynch. Um, Lorenzo Alexander from Oakland. Okay. Was he really? Yeah. You talking about the linebacker for the Bills? Yeah, I didn't know that. I did not know that either. Hmm. That's cool. I didn't know that. Uh, yeah. Sydney Jones, dude. That's who it is. Sydney Jones. That sounds familiar. Taiwan Jones is from the, uh, from Frisco, ain't he? Yeah. Oh, Richard Sherman's from Compton, but that's like down south. I thought uh, I thought at first split second it said uh, uh, Richmond. I, and I guess I guess that was that kid from West uh, Corvina High. I don't know where that is. So uh, that might be down south. I'm pretty sure that's like. But, Definitely not the Bay Area, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Was it because it was it technically, if you're talking about straight athlete, like, if you played against Jarvis Best, Jarvis Best was a straight, it was a really good athlete. You just got concussion, bro. Yeah, no, Jarvis Best, he's pretty, he, he's good. He's from the East Bay. Um, but I mean, I mean, I, right, right now, if I would sit there and say the best Bay Area athlete, it would be between Marshawn Lynch and De, Devontae Adams right now. Yeah, absolutely, right now. I would say that. I mean, because think about it, Tom Brady. I mean, not that not, not that he's not an athlete. It's just you know, how athletic is he? He's just a really, yeah. athlete, really yeah. good quarterback. But I mean, you talking about like, was it was it uh he st- like Devonte stayed in, like Devonte and Marshawn both stayed in California. Devonte went to Fresno. Marshawn went to the Cal. So it's like they both stayed in California. So it's like yeah, you know, give him that, give him that that cred. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I think he's. Oh, and then what's his name? Um, bro from uh from anyway, that's at Bama. Who? Oh, uh, who? Oh, uh, uh, Najee, uh, Najee Harris. I mean, you you only gotta see what he becomes. He he ate last year, but we'll see how how much he does. You know this this next year. But yeah, that's. I mean, if you talk about out of the high school athletes that came out the last three years, that dude was was all over the map. Like when it came to the media spotlight, like everybody knew about him. You were even close to the only type of games they were playing. Like, uh, you know, any of us playing with Peter. So that was like the, the highlight of the, of the game or the, that week, that week for like Kaha sports. So. Isn't Jared Goff from um, like Nevada area? San Ramon? Yeah. I don't think that, he, I thought he went to like some prep school in like Nevada. In Nevada or Nevada? Uh, it could be. I mean, he's he's a he's a Marin County thing cat, I think. Yeah, yeah Marin Marin something Marin Catholic. Yeah. Is that a school? I don't know. I'm just throwing. Shit Again, out. I I don't think Jared Goff's a very good quarterback, so I would have put him like. He didn't seem so good last last year. I mean, he's good. Don't get me wrong. Right? I mean, he. he and, uh... Yeah, dude, this fullback on this West sorry, this West Virginia game is 292 pounds. Oh yeah, well it's different football back then. <laughs> oh, do you, he just caught a Sheree pass? He went down like forty yards. I thought I was like, my face was like, I was like, yo, it's the lineman running at you. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Sorry, but yeah, no. Nah, was what about, that's what about that corner that um that just got paid from uh was he the Cowboy corner? Oh, he's from uh, San Jose. He, I know what you're talking about a woozy. Woozy, yeah, or something like that. Yeah, he, yeah. Went to San Jose State and then, uh, and then didn't he go to the Cowboys? 
Good yeah, yeah, he's got. He's, yeah, I don't. I don't know if he just got paid, but I know the Cowboys try to keep him. I don't know. I don't know if he's top flight quarter, but yeah, he's yeah he's starting the NFL. So Is was he, it technic, technically? Impressive. There was another one, like he's he got drafted. I think he's on the Niners. I could be. I could be hella wrong. Is like brothers, or whatever. Yeah, they like they both like they both play together, and then one with the uh, Colorado, the other one one with the San Jose State. Yeah. Yeah, we already know about Vita Vea. But see, that's the thing. Vita Vea, Vita Vea is like the only um, Bill Peters kid since Brandon, since our time when we were in school. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, yeah. Yeah. No. I, I mean, that's – to me, Bill Peters has always just been a bigger squad, a, a bigger team as a whole. Uh, I mean, if you want to say athletes that, like, don't, like, don't, like, make it to the next level – so if you, I'll, I'll put Mel Peters or Wilcox in that category. Yeah, I would, I would say so too. <clears throat> uh, Wilcox, great school, great talent. They got a good coach right now. Um, that's Santa Clara. I mean, they get the best athletes out, out of everyone. Everyone wants to go to uh, Wilcox, right? So uh, you're not going to get a whole lot of people that go to Santa Clara. Yeah. I, mean, I think Joe could speak on that when he, when he gets in, but yeah. Santa Clara. Um, but yeah. No, I think I think overall in the Bay, it, it, it's safe to say, like, um, I mean, I, I told my cousin, uh, I was like in, in the post, I was like, I agree with them. I mean, Mel Peterson and EPR are definitely, definitely tops. But after looking at it, I mean, I would, I would, you would clearly have to say it would be Oakland would probably be number one. Is really uh, from Oakland, but... And then, and then I would say it'd be like a, it'd be like a, it'd be like a toss up. I mean, I don't know. I probably go EPA too. I mean, I mean, that's. I mean, are you are you doing EPA just as EPA as this? Like, are you just doing Palo Alto the whole thing? It's no. To me, like, it's to me, that's kind of fair to say Palo Alto because those metal aspen cats are pretty good too. Oh yeah, yeah, they're they're. I mean, they got the number one receiver right now, right? And what's yeah. Troy, uh, I think his name's Troy. I forget. He's the number one re- receiver. I think he's a junior, or he was a junior. I can't remember. Um, I forget his name. But yeah, he's like the number one re- uh, receiver, at least for like a four star recruit. I don't know. Yeah. Mm. Troy Franklin, that's the kid's name. Good oh, kid. really? Yeah. Straight dogs people. I mean, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I think we're both in agreement. It'll be, be, I, I would, I'm between Oakland and Palo Alto. I, I'm saying Palo Alto as a whole. I can't just say EPA. I mean, everybody knows it's EPA, but. You know, there's some good Palo Alto athletes that are, you know, gone through the program too and stuff like that. So, and some of those kids, uh, they, they get shipped out. Well, because then what you're going to say, West Oakland, East Oakland, like North Oakland, like. You can break it all down. Yeah, no. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, I don't think we got, I don't know if we got the knowledge of the world all to sit there and break down every uh, Oakland true. athlete. But, because yeah, I mean, in, in every set in Oakland, I mean, those kids go to different different places, right? I mean, what could, did it did it like uh, Doug Johnson go to Oakland too? I don't know Doug Johnson. Did he go to um, D- Doug Johnson, who's been like on like half the NFL teams, like is the quarterback? Did he? He was on the Raiders for a minute. He was on the Lions. He's been on the Bucks. He's been everywhere. Back checking see what's going on. Uh, a QB. That, this is not the Doug Johnson I'm looking at. Quarterback Richards. That is not. No, this is it's Doug Williams, homie. Doug Williams? I, I, the search is not popping up. All right. This yeah, this is, this is not the business right now. Um, yeah, but yeah. E- either way, regardless. Um, I like because you know the way out Devontae Adams is just sky- skyrocketing right now. It, it makes it hard to sit there and not want to choose Paul out there EPA because of how well he's doing. 
Dude, he has moves and he and the ability to to run those routes. It's it, the best. The best part about it, he's always getting better every year. He's gotten better. Like, yeah. So it's like, I mean, it's one of those things that they're kind of wasting Aaron Rodgers' time if they don't get him. You know, was it Devontae and him some help on the offensive end? Yeah, no. Just to compete because you know defense is it's easy to double team Devontae and Devontae still goes off. But it's like as soon as Aaron Rodgers looks away from you, know, you're looking at dudes that are third or fourth three string. Or third or fourth string uh, stringers on other teams. Yeah. No, I agree. I think that's uh, their big problem. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So, I mean, I think was it. I that's the thing. I'm curious. I don't know if there's any like Bay Area cats that are coming out of the draft this year. Yeah. I know. I know. There's that one dude that played up at. Uh, he played at De La Salle. Was it Devin Asai? He's a tight end from UCLA. Oh, dude, that's um, that's my uh, my friend. It's her, it's her like really good friend's son. So yeah, like, my friends that she's a teacher at Monta Vista. And yeah, I think he he's coming out this year out of UCLA. They said that he's like he uh, he's for, he's an East Bay kid. He's uh, been flying underneath the radar, but they said like he's like a good bang for your buck. Like you don't necessarily got to break the bank and go first second you probably get him in the third or fourth round maybe even fifth round um and then uh you know save some money i, I mean you still get your rookie minimum but yeah well like do, do you remember that game uh it was with de la, de la Salle without a texas yeah. and that tied in through that or the tight end reverse pass and he, he he was the one that threw it yeah no yeah yeah so i'm um, like so i think i think oh, yeah, he's got huge barry kids coming out i don't know if anybody else is coming out this year I oh, I know there's a couple prospects out in the Ju- in the JUCOs that are doing well, but I don't know if anybody's transferred out yet or whatnot. Just because did you hear the whole thing going down? So, well, did you hear what's the that quarterback from um from uh USC? He's about to transfer. Oh, really? Yeah, he just entered the transfer thing. Uh, JT Daniels enters transfer portal. Oh wow! Yep, that's not that's not good for SC. I tell you that. It's, you know, and they, you would open up that that conversation. SC has been very good in years. I know. I, I, I've never been an SC fan, so I don't know if it's just because we went to Cal Cam and we repped Cal and shit like that. But SC has never been like I didn't like SC at all. But then you're talking about like they've like ah oh, dude that 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 quarterback thing I sent you like how are they the number one top quarterbacks school in 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 college football? No. You're talking about like Matt Liner, nothing. Uh, Carson Palmer, the only one that's probably come out and like does it, but it's always constantly hurt. And they put like Sam Darnold. I'm like, if I remember right, Sam Darnold wasn't very good at college either. Oh, so, I mean, he's better than me, but I'm not a quarterback. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I don't know if they're if they're talking about football, like just or college football, then yeah, I get it because of the the, the Heisman trophies. Um. But even still, like if if that was the case, then why wouldn't they pick uh, Oklahoma, right? I mean, with Sam Bradford. Um, I feel like the, the the Oklahoma one made sense. I was like, all right, you know, that's Sam Brad, P. Sam Brad, Bradford, Baker Mayfield, and Kyler Murray. There's three uh, three uh, Heisman Award winners, and you could technically could have argued that like Jalen Hurts could have got it this year too. So it's like, well, and and that's another thing too. Like uh, for USC, you got to remember they had like during those times they had some of the best players in the country on that on those teams with Matt Leiner. So I mean you have yeah. dude. Arguably probably one of the best running backs in college history. Right. Um and you had Lindell White, right? right? And then you had a bunch of other guys that I mean I forget who the receivers were, but I mean they weren't they weren't all that good or they weren't all that bad. You know? Oh, they had, they, remember they had Mike Williams. Mike Williams, there you go. He came out he, he came out early with uh Maurice Clar- Claret or from Ohio State, and they he never did well. Um, Sam, I think Sam Darnold had Juju. Juju, Juju, you went to uh, SC. I forgot about that. Yeah, Juju. I think Sam Darnold had Juju the Schuster, uh, Matt Liner. I feel like he maybe he had Mike Williams. I don't know what Carson Palmer or Matt Liner had Mike Williams. And there's another wide receiver that came out that was like supposed to be. Oh, did it? Uh. Not Deshaun Jackson. There was somebody else. Oh, was, I think Robert Woods. 
was one of their receivers too. I'm trying to think. Uh, the number one. Let's look at their notable players during the, his Heisman year. Uh, Carson. It says Kareem Kelly. Who's the receiver number two? So <laughs> one. <Who>? Or, <laughs> receiver number two. Uh, Mike Williams. Yeah. Daniel Fletcher. Donald Hale. Doyle Butler. And Grant Matos. Matos. Um, he probably went for the league. Interesting. Yeah, very. Because I'm like, see that to me. I, I mean, that's the, to me right there. That that kind of uh, that that solidifies Carson more than Matt Liner, right? Like, yeah, except I got I got no problem when they put Carson on that list as Carson, Matt Liner, then Sam Darnold, and Carson Palmer being the first one on that list. I'm, again, that's the only quarterback I can sit there and name that. I see he's had a good quarterback in forever. Yeah. You know, I mean, Matt Liner, you can't argue what Matt Liner did, but you said Matt Liner had Re- Reggie Bush as well. So. Yep, he did. What year was that? Was that 2006? Uh, I think so. We were in high school, so. Yeah. Let's check that roster out. I'm pretty sure that was a, a ridiculous. Um, Ridiculous. Uh, let me see. That, no, was it? What number was Matt Liner? Uh, he was eleven. So that had to be two thousand five then. Might have been. Because um, two thousand, I think six was um, what's what's that dude's name? Um, Matt or er, er, Sanchez. Okay. Oh, Mark Sanchez. Actually, I would put Mark Sanchez up there over. Uh, <laughs> uh, was it um, Sam Darnold? Matt Liner. All right, there we go. Look at this. Patrick Turner, Steve Smith, not the Steve Smith. Uh, we need. Steve Smith that played for the Jets that helped him, or not, not the Jets, the Giants that helped him win a Super Bowl. It was this guy, Dwayne Jarrett. Dwayne Jarrett was like their, their, their go-to receiver, I think, back then. Oh, yeah, but he, he never panned out in the NFL either. Yeah, I don't remember because he was hella big, too. But, right? I mean, they had – um. this is when they had – what's it called, right? They had uh, – a. Uh, uh, their defense was yeah. Their de- defense was they had Raymond. about Raymond Magaluga? Was it uh, Clay Matthews? Was it Brooks Reed? Uh, who's who's that dude that did it pan out at strong safety but blasted everybody? Justin Hart. No, it's the oh oh Taylor Mays. Yeah, Taylor Mays, dude. That was like supposed to be like the next Sean Taylor, like yo. Uh, and then once he got to the NFL, everybody was just too fast for him. Well, remember, like, and then he he could he could have bulk up to play linebacker. Yeah, he, uh, he he ran a four two four, and then they're like, "What the hell? Four two four? Chris Johnson?" Yeah. Like yeah, uh, Taylor May, dude, that dude used to lay the wood. I think he got drafted by the Bengals too, and the Bengals had Ray Mon- Ray Monaluga and him on their defense. Where did he get drafted? I forget where he got drafted. Who? Uh, Taylor Mays. He got drafted by the Bengals. He got drafted by the Bengals? Yeah, he, like, yeah. the Bengals had, like, yeah, Raymond, Raymond Luga and him. It was like, it was like, oh, dude, their defense is kind of nice at, a, at for a time. They were thinking that I they think up like, um, like the Ravens did with the uh, – Yeah. With uh, – who did they draft? They drafted two in that in, – in the in the year. Was it Ed Reed and uh, – Ray Lewis? No, Ray was before him. Ed, Ed Reed and uh, – was it Hello Dinata? Did both of them come in? For the same school or not? Or for different schools? I think in the same draft. Uh, I don't know. Because I know, was it, I think Peter Bowler came from Miami too. Am I wrong? Uh-huh. I don't know. I don't know. But either way. 
at the quarterback list um because we're kind of covering it i don't know i don't i i, I, don't, I wouldn't mind i wouldn't mind i wouldn't mind seeing oklahoma up there i mean oklahoma's two and then like the next one is like was it oregon so it's like joey harrington marcus mariota and justin herbert yeah i don't know i don't like, Again, I don't. I'm not a huge fan of the Sherbert kid. Joey Harrington, I think he did pretty well, if I remember right. And Mariota did pretty well in college. So again, if it's all based off of college. All right. But I mean, that's if, fine with Oregon. If you go down, that's fine with Oregon. Well, huh? yeah. If you go down and you see like a, uh, um, it's a Texas. You see Texas, yeah. Major Applewhite. I was like, who the hell is that, dude? I haven't seen any of his uh, highlights. I was like, I was like, who's Major Applewhite? And then, like, again, to be Vince Young, like, everybody, for, like, we were, we were in high school when he made that run. So, it's like, Vince Young is, like, the man. And then Colt McCoy, all right, type of deal. And then Florida State, Chris Winkie. Again, uh, this is based off of NFL. This is bullshit because Chris Winkie did shit in the NFL. Same with EJ Mandos and, the, and David Twisty. You're talking about three dudes. Two of those dudes are on this list are not even on the NFL team right now. Yeah, no. And plus, I would say that I, I would put – I put Oklahoma number one, number one, probably. I probably put yeah. USC. If we were only going back, if we're only going by college, I probably would put. It would be hard to argue uh, USC at number at dropping below number two. Then, uh, to me, I, to me, if you're going straight college, look at the national championship. Florida needs to go up higher. Oh yeah. Between they, between was it Leak and Tebow? Don't they have two national championships? Yeah, they so do. So it's like. Like I don't even know why Texas A and M is even in this this list. I don't know. I mean, Ryan. Tannehill. Tannehill was a quarterback for one year at Texas A M. Manziel, okay, and then Kellen Kellen Mond, and he's the quarterback there now. I mean, I'm trying. And to... if, if I've seen like two Alabama games where they played them, and he, they've just destroyed him every time. I, I I don't know of any other team. I don't know, dude. Uh, I mean, Ohio State, I feel like it's pretty low. Um, I I remember Troy Smith used to kill it, too. Yeah, dude, he was like the first version of like the big arm, or not the first version, but I mean, but... Um, he was like that. I think was, I think Vic came out, and then he came out. Mm-hmm. So it was like the next one you could kind of compare to Vic. Yeah, but Vic was like just, there was no other Vic. Oh, yeah, it was, I mean, it, they said like, I think the only thing they said that this dude had like a little bit more of a polished arm, or like Vic was just in Insanely fast. Vic was in, he just had, Vic had it all. I mean, he wasn't as accurate, but I mean, dude, I mean, when you have athletes, you just throw it up. Yeah, as, I mean, I, I mean, like, it's, you know, it's, it's like, why is Louis, like, why is Louisville on this list? There's no way you tell me there's not another team in all of college football that has like, uh, you could could you sit there and argue that uh, Cal could be on this list with Aaron Rodgers and. Uh, was it was it uh Nate Longshore and then um who's the other dude? And then was it Jared Goff? Goff, yeah. I, I mean you could also argue that was it Michigan has a I think it's had a ton of quarterbacks in the past. I mean Penn I State. Penn State. Uh, um, golly, man. <laughs> just t- I'm trying to think of let's see. Uh, I mean, that's not on this list. I want to see if there's any top, um, top. Yeah, I like how this football game, everybody's like, there's hardly any gloves and there's hella cowboy colors on. This is just 2000. So you're talking about like 20 years ago that like football was at a dinosaur prehistoric age. <laughs> I know, right? All right, let's see what this comes up with. Uh, quarterback U. This is Bleacher Reports. Top 25 quarterback schools. Okay. 25, they're saying, oh, hell no. They're saying Louisiana State, LSU. LSU? <laughs> and the pitcher is Marcus Russell. I mean, he was, what? He was good. I mean, yeah, he was, he was the shit, but it's like between him and Joe Burrow, Who's your last quarterback? Matt Flynn? Like, they've had a couple of dudes that made the NFL, but they fizzed out became backups. I mean, if you're going to talk about it like that, then then yeah, I can I can understand. I mean, they they argued that 
this LSU team was the greatest team of all time. Yeah. And, and I get it. I've, I've always said if if LSU had a quarterback, it would be it would create problems for a lot of teams because LSU's defense and their skill players were really good. And it's like, and then I mean, you talk about this is the first year like they haven't had a top like running back, but now he's a top running back because the dude just has like a bunch of heart and he just grinds and shit. So it's like, you know, they're they're to me, I haven't seen a team like this dominant in like years. I mean, even look. I mean, the two the two games that were close it was like. Texas and Alabama were like the closest one to beat them. Yeah. No, true. Who are they say? they're saying right here? Uh, they put down Maryland is up there. I don't know why. I mean, they're saying um, Boomer Size, Dick Shiner, Stan Galva, Frank. Okay. I don't know. You said this up Bleacher Report? That was Bleacher Report. Who was this one? Um, UCLA. What? Uh, Drew Olson, Troy Aikman, Gary. Even. I guess Gary won the uh, the the Heisman. Penn State. We already we already said Penn State. I've always known Penn State as linebacker. You. Yeah. Todd Blackledge, Kerry Collins. Of course, Kerry Collins. Come on now. Uh, Old Miss, Archie Manning, Eli Manning. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Good. Alabama. All right. Joe Namath, Bart Starr, Ken Stabler. I mean, that's pretty damn good. I mean, to me, like, I mean, what? Because they're an old school. You can't tell me, like, you're talking about those dudes have Super Bowl rings. <laughs> those are, those are. I mean, and then you got all these guys. Like Jalen Hurts, I mean, you can't knock that he wasn't there. He's going to be something probably at the next level. You well, you're two. talking about, you're talking about, was it between Jalen Hurts and Tua, they both have the last of championships. Yeah. Tua is the shit. <laughs> he was, and then the, the fact that, like, they got, like, his brother already there, ready to go. Washington State. Hmm. Drew Bledsoe. Jack Thompson. Okay. Cal. Cal is up there. They got um, Aaron Rodgers, of course. Kyle Bowler, Rich Campbell, Pat Barnes, Joe Roth. That's good. Coach Taylor. That's good. Uh, Boston College. Of course, Boston College. You got the Flutie Magic, Matt Herselbeck. I mean, right there, there's two Super Bowl quarterbacks, right? Yeah. Um, Matt Ryan. Big choker. Florida, Florida's thirteen. You got Tim Tebow. They, they had Ohio State at three twenty three on this list. I know, that's low. But I mean, still, they have Oklahoma way up there. At twelve, Sam Bradford, all these other guys. I mean, no disrespect to them or anything. Charles Thompson, um, Nebraska. Nebraska was really good in the nineties. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, See, they got they got Cal at fifteen. I wonder who Purdue. Purdue. Okay, well, because of Breeze. My Breezy. Um, who else? Dawson, Everett, okay. Campbell, Scott Campbell. Al Orton. Michigan, number 10. Okay, we're in the, we're, we're in the, the top 10. See? Do uh, you have Oklahoma at 12? Jeez. Chad Henney. Um, Tom Brady, of course. Tom Brady alone probably, like, I mean. Puts probably put them up there. Oregon at number eight, and this picture takes it way back to Daryl Thomas. <laughs> Dennis Dixon. Dan Fouts. Okay, well, there you go. Bill Musgrave, A.J. Feely, Colin Clemson. Jesus Christ. Stanford, number seven, seven for seven. Stanford, John Elway. Yep. And Andrew. Jim Plunkett, Trent Edwards. Andrew Luck. Yo, that's, that's, that's a cog. Tell me that can't take out Louisville. Louisville's not even on this damn list mm-hmm. so far. Florida State. Do Florida State had some people that have wheels too? Charlie Ward, dude. <laughs> BYU? Of course, BYU. Oh, because he got Steve Young. Yep, he won the Heisman, didn't he? Yeah, he's won. Uh, remember Ty Detmer? He used to play with the Eagles. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jim McCann. 
I'm back. Max Steve, no, Steve Starkeesian. Oh, you dub though. You dubs on here. Warren Moon. Come on now. Warren Moon. Mark. Marcus. And Marquis Tuliak Sobo. Yeah. Just because of the name. Jake Locker. Yeah. Yeah. Miami number three. This guy would like that. Yeah, dude. Uh, Vinny Testaverde, yo. <laughs> yeah. Bernie Kozar. Yo, Ken Dorsey was a winning quarterback. Damn, dude. I forgot all these guys were here. Brock Berlin. Uh, Notre Dame number two, of course. I don't even know why I didn't even think of Notre Dame. Uh, dude, because I, I, I'm not like, you know, we're t- the two quarterbacks came on Notre Dame recently are Brady Quinn and Jimmy Closet, and they're both for backups. We're not in the league anymore. And then, are USC? God damn. Are you serious? <laughs> USC. But then, it, I, I mean, it, it, it's a real big drop off, though, with um, right after Matt Liner. Because when you think about Matt Sanchez, Mark Sanchez really just had a good system. Paul McCann. Yeah. Uh, Rob Johnson, Ronnie Pete, but these are they're pretty good, but they also Dude. have really good running backs, too. Um, what the hell am I forgetting? What's his name? Uh, running back before Bo Jackson, who? Oh, you talking about uh, Marcus Allen? Dude, I keep I, I don't know why I was fucking. Okay. Well, I think it's like you could argue that USC used to be running back you because they did have Marcus Allen, OJ Simpson, and there's a couple other cats that were like. Pretty damn good. I think they definitely are top two. Uh, like, hands down, I think they're top two. I mean, with Marcus Allen doing what he did, um, you said you had OJ, but then you, you also, I mean, I mean, Reggie Bush, dude, th- th- there was nothing, there was nothing like that. I mean, seeing that, I mean, that, that was ridiculous. Yeah. The, I mean, everybody remembers what he did. And it's like the fact that the, the NCAA asked him to give, give him that shit back. I mean, that's crazy. Uh, yeah, I think they should give him – I don't think they should – they should revoke his Heisman. I mean, think about how many other people – not necessarily did what he did. But it's unsaid. I mean, uh, a lot but of – like, like, what does it do to take back a trophy that, like, you guys didn't catch? It took you, like, 10 years to catch it. Well, like, I, exactly. And, and on top of that, then take back um, zero Super Bowl rings. Yeah. Not that far, right? Yeah, you got – you talk about all right. Well, you go take you know. I mean, without that. without him doing what he did, or without him turning a blind eye, he wouldn't have Reggie Bush. He wouldn't have been on the on on the map as much, right? Yeah. I mean, he only did what four years there, five years there. Then was he- that like like uh no? He did like less than four. Was it? I heard like so like uh, one of my cousins like so what about like Eric? His cousin lives in San Diego, and like their rival school, the her, their school had Alex Smith as their quarterback. And the rival school had Reggie Bush. And he, they said those games, those high school football games were beyond, like, the craziest thing. You Like, you were packed. Like, people were getting rejected at the door. It was just insane. It was, like, the, 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 the pure – the fact that these two were playing against each other in high school, that's insane to me. Like, I don't know if, like, in, in the Bay Area, since the scale, like, two juggernauts like that would play, have played against each other that went number one overall and shit like that. I thought they didn't they. I thought they played together. They, no, Alex Smith went to. No, actually, you know you could be right. So it was like they played together, and their rival school was the other rival school. Yeah, either way, if you like, you talk about a high school like it has two. Hey, your two juggernauts are on the same team, or you're going against each other. I don't think that's ever happened in the Bay Area in X amount of years. Yeah, they were both on the same team. He looks high. That's yeah. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Um, didn't they? And you know what? They played together for like a year, didn't they? When Reggie Bush went to yeah. the, went to yeah. The, yeah, he did. Didn't he? I think he did. Who? Reggie Bush played for the Niners for like a year, didn't he? Uh, I think he came, he came towards ACL, or I think that was like that was like his last year in the NFL. Like they signed him, and then like they thought he was gonna be like the next like help him out. I think I don't know if Frank Gore was on the team where they had a running back that was on the team that was gonna help him out. And he was gonna be like the next thing to help him out. He got hurt. He might have came back, but I appreciate that was like his last NFL season. I got you. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's just wow. All right, I'm gonna uh, we'll cut this um, episode, and then we'll 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 hop on another one um, once Joe gets in. All right, I gotta.